Hello and welcome. This is a continuation of my video series on uh, Embedded C. And in this particular video, I'm going to look at a uh, C keyword called Type Dev. Type Dev. Type Dev is a C keyword which allows the programmer to rename a data type. So for example, uh, if I type type death int, um, a quick reminder, int is a C data type uh, of, uh, which consists of 16 uh, bits. I can rename this data type as uh, int with the capital I underscore 16, 16 denoting is 16 bits. So once I've done, done this, type death int, int underscore 16, the compiler now recognizes the int data type as an int underscore 16 data type. Okay, so we are back in the Kyle IDE and I've uh, put up the demonstration code here. Um, I'm sure you recognize this by now. I've included the uh, .h file here, and this is my main uh, function. And here I use the type death to rename int as int underscore 16. Uh, I've used a uppercase i for this. Uh, just a quick reminder, int is a C data type and, it's, uh, of, and it consists 16 bits or 2 bytes. And this underscore 16 basically is to indicate that this the uh, new data type name is of 16 bits. You, you may call this anything you want, but I thought I'll, I'll use this int underscore 16. Now here with the new data type rename with, with the int rename as int uh, underscore 16. I'm using that uh, int underscore 16 and declare a variable called data and assign the hex value uh, 5541 to uh, data. All right. And finally, here is the return zero. Uh, so let's see how this thing works out in single step mode. So I've already uh, compiled or built the code. I have zero errors or zero warnings. So let's head off to debug. And before we start, so the compiler has assigned uh, locations uh, 0, 8 and location 0, 9 in the uh, data memory to store the uh, hex code for data. In other words, the location of data is 0, 08. Uh, let me just try and zoom in so that we can see this a little bit better. Okay, zoom in. So we have uh, the compiler has assigned uh, 0, 08 to store 55 five, and location 0, 09 to store uh, 41. Okay, so let's zoom out and exit the edit mode. Yeah, okay, so now let's, and I have set up the watch window here at the right hand corner, zoom in. So right now I have this date uh, variable data at the moment is 0, 0, 0, 0. And also I also, uh, let me just exit this thing. Uh, set aside the uh, data memory window to look out for the uh, data later on. Uh, so uh, notice that the location here is uh, 08 and 09 is here. So, um, so let's zoom out. Okay, so let's ex let's go to watch window, right? And single step. Let's run 
just one line code. So uh, it's not working. Okay, yeah, all right. So a single step, I need to take out the uh, breakpoint. Sorry about that. Okay, so now I've executed this line of code. And if you notice in the watch window, I have 5541. So let's zoom in. <coughs> Pardon me. And we can see data now as uh, 5541. Right. Now let's look at the uh, memory window. And we also see the uh, that is also contain a 5541 in location 08, which is this one here, and location 09. All right, so, and the return zero, and we're done. Okay, so we've seen how uh, we can use type def to rename a data type. Uh, but here, what I want to sh demonstrate is that we can use type def to rename a user defined data type. Uh, let's head to the uh, code demonstration. Okay, to uh, demonstrate how to use def, uh, sorry, type def to rename a user defined data type so i've uploaded this uh, code here um, this code i have used it in my previous video on uh, structure or struct so if you have watched that video before you will be familiar with the um, uh, the, the program but the the main thing is i'm going to show you how to rename the user defined data type here so what I've done here is I've defined a uh, structure type and I've called it access data. Again, this name can be any other name, but I've chosen to use access data. And in access data, I have two members, pin and zone. Now, um, there are, you, uh, these are also known as elements. Now, pint is of the type int. So it's a 16-bit data type. And zone is of the type unsigned char. And it's, on, it's a byte. That means 8 bits. And to rename this data access, I've used type death, followed by struct. As used up here and followed by the name of the structure type access data and I'm going to rename this X this structure type as card uh, notice I've used uh, everything in uppercase uh, you don't have doesn't have to be but I'm using it as uppercase and it can be any other name it doesn't have to be card so now I have renamed the user defined data type access data access data to card. So in the main program I'm using card here as the uh, data type and I've used that to declare a structure variable and my structure variable in this case is called info and it's the short for information now to access the members of this uh, stru uh, stru uh, structure type, I have used the dot operator. So I say here to access it, to access pin, I said info dot pin, assign the decimal value one, two, three to it. And then I use info dot pin, and send it out to port 1 or P1. Now, in this code demonstration, I'm not going to make use of uh, zone, so I'm leaving that out. 
um, and finally the last instruction is return zero okay so um, I've already compiled the code so I got zero errors and zero warning warning so let's see how this thing works so go to debug all right I've got port one up here I've also at the bottom right hand corner on the watch window uh, displayed uh, the members of uh, the structure pin and zone so let me just zoom in so that we can see it yes so I have it here right okay pin and zone uh, let's erase this and zoom out and okay so let's now sing a step uh, so right now pin now has at the bottom right hand corner here we have pin uh, as hexa 007b 7b is the hex equivalent of the decimal value one two three so let's uh, basically zoom in to make sure it is yes it is uh, 007b which is the equivalent of one two three in decimal now i have not used zone so that's why it's remaining as z uh, hexa zero zero so let us in the uh, okay so that we've done that now i'm going to assign info.pin to port one p1 which is this port here and yeah so now port one display zero one 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 zero one one that is the binary equivalent of seven b or decimal one two three and here we have return zero which concludes terminates the uh, program okay that's it for this uh, video on type death and uh, if you like to try out the examples that I've used uh, in this video please check out the link uh, below and uh, thank you for watching uh, see you in next video bye